Karibu tena kwenye sehemu ya pili ya taarifa hizi za mbio weekend ambapo ipo haja ya kujumuisha jamii zilizo mashinani katika utekelezaji wa miradi ya maendeleo nchini. Wito huu umetolewa na Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa Shirika la Shining Hope for Communities Dr. Kennedy Odedi ambaye amesema kuwa wananchi katika ngazi ya chini ni nguzo muhimu katika kufanikiwa kwa miradi muhimu nchini. Hivyo kuna haja ya kujumuisha zaidi katika kuamua miradi wanayopenda itekelezwe katika maeneo yao. We are sending over 20,000 youths in Nairobi County to Tibet. You know I mean? And uh, so that's our big thing. We also, I, I also believe that uh, for us to solve our problems, we have to really come, come together. For me, that's how we're going to solve our problems. That's how we're going to fight corruption. That's how we are able to bring our people from the, down, down the pyramid to up. And that's how we can also fight tribalism. If you say here today, you will see Kikuyu, Luo, Muslim, Christians. You know, I am just so happy that it's their thing. They want to be part of development. Governance must start from the bottom. Waelewe mambo ya kuchagua watu wao. Kuchagua wale watu watawasaidia. Kwa sababu kuwasaidia na kuwapatia handouts will not sustain them. Lakini hao wenyewe tukiwafundisha vile kuchagua viongozi wale watawasaidia. Kwa sababu wanawa represent hiyo ndo kazi kubwa tumekuja kufanya hapa the right governance for the people at the bottom na hivyo ndio nchi yetu itaendelea Idara ya masomo ya watu wazima nchini kupitia tawi la Nairobi sasa linawarai wale ambao hawakukamilisha masomo yao kurudi shuleni ili kuimarisha viwango vyao vya kujua kusoma na kuandika Wakizungumza wakati wa hafla ya siku ya kujua kusoma na kuandika nchini iliyoandaliwa katika uwanja wa chuo cha Mahanaim jijini Nairobi washikadamu wamesema kuwa serikali imeweka mikakati ya kutosha kuhakikisha kuwa wale ambao hawajui kusoma na kuandika wanapata elimu kwa mujibu wa mkurugenzi wa idara ya elimu ya watu wazima kaunti ya Nairobi Salome Tera elimu hiyo pia inaweza kuhakikisha watu wazima ambao hawana elimu wanapata taaluma muhimu zitakazowasaidia kujiajiri na kujiongezea kipato vile vile amefafanua kuwa wanafunzi wao wana uwezo kujiunga na taasisi za kiufundi na kufikia hadi ngazi ya chuo kikuu kwa hapa tukiadhimisha hii siku tukijaribu kuhamasisha jamii kwamba masomo ama literacy is a way of human dignity na tuko hapa leo kusherekea na pia kujumuika na jamii na wale ambao wamepitia hii masomo na pia kuandika wale wengine wengi kwamba literacy is the way to go is one way of giving human their dignity we have the good will unlike in the past governments naweza sema kwamba katika hii serikali ya sasa kuna good will there is that willingness they are, they are seeming to support and they have given us conducive environment to do this so we thank the government the journey for an adult to get literate and be able to face the challenges in life and solve them is a tricky one but we thank God because we have 11,562 learners who are already in our classes and our target by media uh, mid financial year we expect to have at least 15,000 adult education learners and I'm encouraging everybody to come and join adult and continue education uh, in Nairobi because we are going to use different approaches other than face to face learning we will also have virtual learning Aslime Shirini ya watu wazima katika kaunti ya Embu hajui kusoma na kuandika Afisa wa elimu ya watu wazima na endelevu Stephen Mboi amesema data kutoka ofisi kuu ya takwimu ya mwaka 2019 pia zinaonyesha kuwa viwango vya kutojua kusoma na kuandika kati ya wanaume na wanawake viliduma kwa asilimia 18 na 21 mtawalia Agizungumza Ijumaa katika mji wa Embu wakati wa maadhimisho ya siku ya kusoma na kuandika duniani mwaka huu Mboi alisema waliojiandikisha kwa sasa katika elimu ya watu wazima wamefikia 2460 wakiwemo wanawake 1864 na wanaume 596 waliosoma katika vituo 63 katika kaunti nzima. <tos> The literacy levels are 
wanaume is around 82% na the literacy levels ya wanawake around 79% kumaanisha kwamba tofauti ni only 3%. The reason why we have been having such a dropout eh? uh, I feel uh, uh, from our kids uh, the economic situations eh? and to an extent the economic activities eh? like now those ones who are engaging in those businesses of uh, selling the melas and migokas the raw side even the sad harvesting and uh, to an extent it is also associated with the poverty because those people are going there because of poverty for the mira i think there is quick money the young person just wants to get this quick money and in the process education is compromised na pia ukiangalia hata kwa hii masomo yetu ya watu wazima wale tuna wanajiunga sana ni wanawake kwa hivyo miaka injao unaweza kuta katika hii county utakuta msichana atakuwa ameweza kusoma hata kushinda huyo kijana na hiyo sana sana utakuta imeleta ile tunaita kwa Kiingereza some social imbalance wakazi wa karia eneo bunge la Gudunguri sasa wana kile sababu ya kufurahi baada ya kufunguliwa tena kwa soko la karia lililokuwa limefungwa kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi Akizungumza katika shughuli ya ufunguzo wa soko hilo mbunge wa Kidhunguri Gadhoni wa Mushomba ameiomba serikali ya kaunti kuwajibikia na kuwajengea ua pamoja na vyo ili shughuli za ununuzi na uuzaji kutekelezwa vyema. Wachuuzi katika soko hilo wameelezea furaha yao pamoja na matumaini ya biashara kunoga kuona ufunguzi huo utapanua hata biashara nyingine katika eneo hilo. Hata hivyo wakulima kutoka eneo hilo wameombwa kukumbatia kilimo cha kiasili na kuepuka matumizi ya kemikali katika kilimo hivyo kufanya mazao yao kukubalika katika soko za humu nchini na pia nchi za nje. <tos> kama leo nikikwambia mimi nilikuwa hapa saa 12 nilikuwa na kunia mzima ya maiti ne uza yote imebaki hii tu kidogo tu nilikuwa na madizi tano nimeuza imebaki moja na nilikuwa na sukuma kunia mzima na nimeuza sasa mimi niko na furaha sana tunajaribu sana kutengeneza uh, mazao ambayo yanaweza ku uh, yanaweza kukubalika na wale consumers ambayo haina kemikali mingi ambayo inatumia imezingatia ime, ime mazingira ya uh, in terms of production na ndipo sa uweze kupata value ya ile chakula yako ilikuwa soko kubwa sana lakini ikadidimia ilididimia kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa usalama na pia barabara zikaharibika watu wakashindwa kuingia kwa hili soko sasa mimi kama kiongozi wakati wa campaign nilikuwa nimewambia watu wa Ikinu ya kwamba lazima tu tu tu, tu, tu tuhakikishe ya kwamba soko yetu imerudi. Na kwa sababu hatuna uwanja mwingine hapa Ikinu hii studio space tuko nayo tukasema tuta tuta uh, uh, kuja hapa tuanze biashara ya soko na ndio tumekuja leo. Na ninasihi sana county government of Kiambu mimi kama kiongozi nimefanya yangu na wao hata wao waamke wafanye yao. Madaktari kutoka chuo kikuu cha Kentucky, chuo kikuu cha Nairobi na hospitali ya Nakuru ngazi ya tano wiki hii wameshirikiana kutoa upasuaji wa pua na koo bila malipo. Zaidi ya wagonjwa 30 wamenufaika na matibabu ambayo huwa kawaida yangekuwa na mzigo mzito wa gharama. Cecilia Kerubo mwenye umri wa miaka 63 ni miongoni mwa wagonjwa wa bahati ambao alirejeshwa uwezo wake wa kusikia baada ya kushika kwa zaidi ya miaka minane. Kaenda kuoga lakini maache kwa kipati mbaya kaingia kwa sikio. Kesho yake ikaanza kutoa damu mbichi na ngakimbia hospitali hapa wakati nilifika hapa nilipiandikiwa madawa nikaenda kuweka nyumbani ikaendelea kusikia ikaanza kutoa usaha nilipelekwa theater ngafanya operation eh nikarudi hapa wote 
Sasa wakati huu saa hii inaanza kusikia. Si huku anasikia na hiyo sikio, hiyo miaka yote nasikia na ya kulia lakini ya kusoto sikiangi this commonly starts uh, during childhood uh, where uh, the ears start discharging pus this could be due to a complication from a flu or a complication from uh, dirty water getting into the ear uh, from uh, various sources including uh, dirty pools and dirty ponds and also uh, infections that come from the upper respiratory tract uh, into the ear which is common in children if improperly treated they uh, lead to a uh, chronically discharging ear kamati yambi weekend sina la ziada tuangani usiku mwendo wa saa moja usiku tuyazungumze mengi ambayo atakuwa yamejiri kutwa nzima jina langu ni Suleiman Yeri kwaheri kwa sasa